Hello, this is my first video I made. I've been watching theater setup videos for a while, so I thought I'd share my setup that I've been working on. This is a middle of the road system, but it's really clean. Sort of a livable family room theater setup. So I thought I had some cool ideas and thought I'd share them and hope you enjoy. So this is the overview shot here. I'll move closer and that's the TV, the Panasonic VT60, 60 inches. It's a good size. I like the picture. If it gets too bright in here, we can close the curtains, but for the most part, no problems there. It's plenty bright and got that calibrated in real nice. Playing the Hurt Locker, which is a good movie for video and sound. This is the TV stand. This I made myself, I built it. It's made out of oak. Uh, it has wheels so it can roll forward and back. Um, so I can play with things behind it if I have to and plug things in and stuff like that. It's also got uh, vents above the top three components that vent heat out the top and then out the back just for a little extra heat dissipation. We were going to put a finish on it but we aren't sure what yet so then right now it's just the bare oak which doesn't look bad but could look better. I can share more details on the TV stand if anybody's interested. Um, then in the middle there you got Ankyo 626. Um, that's the receiver. It runs all the speakers obviously. And I like that. It's, it's powerful enough for me and for this size room. It's a 7.2. I'm using it as a 5.1 receiver. Zone 2 runs to the basement for so I can watch all my components down, th down there. And, it's also going to run outdoor speakers once I get those. And it also has a phono input, which is nice because I don't need a separate preamp. It's not the best preamp, but uh, it works, and I don't need the separate component. So that's nice. 626. 360, everybody knows all about the Xbox 360. I use that for older games and YouTube because I have a chat pad, so we'll watch YouTube or Vivo on that. And the Xbox One. I use that for gaming and Blu-rays, of course, and I held out buying a 3D Blu-ray player, and finally they announced that it's going to support 3D Blu-rays, so I'm pretty excited to finally watch 3D Blu-rays on my Xbox, on my TV. Um, then down there is a Technics Linear Tracking Turntable, which we'll use for our old vinyl collection here. It's got, uh, I like the linear tracking because you can sort of skips tracks and things. Um, sort of like a CD player, but not. So it's not the best turntable, but works for me. And this here is just a basket with sort of glasses, and these are the gloves that came with the, the Aperion speakers, which I'll show you. And this is a little cleaning cloth. 3D glasses. And behind there, just a couple of auxiliary cables for HDMI auxiliary and audio auxiliary in case you want to hook up anything else. Over here we got the miscellaneous cubby. That's got a router, Asus RT N66U and router, and a USB port on that that I plan to use for some network storage. And uh, the modems back there, of course. And the Panama Panamax. M8AV Pro surge protector is back there. That surge protector has two banks, one that has a double filter for the speakers and the, um, and the turntable, and then another high current uh, bank of outlets for the subwoofer and, and those things. Uh, and then we'll move on to the speakers. That's the their Aperion Intimus 4 series speakers so uh, that's the 4T T is for tower you can see they're just black and I like the size of them they fit in this room real well and uh, they fill it with sound just enough and black inside they vent out the front so you don't need to worry about putting them close to the wall which I liked they're kind of out here and they're kind of towed in towards the optimal listening perspective and so the other one's over there, the other 4T. I was going for a real clean look, so all the cables are hidden. That's the 4C center channel. The inside of that looks the same thing. Two 
uh, four inch woofers and a small tweeter and those are the brackets I got from Imperion as well and I really like the look of those, they're nice and simple and there's the back just a couple cables and everything else is hidden and it's behind the TV stand there's a little cavity built into the back of the TV stand that houses all the cables um, that way nothing's hanging out and uh, 8 inch subwoofer Bravis 2 <clears throat> Bravis 2 8D it's called also from Imperion, all part of the same setup. And then we got back speakers, or 4B bookshelf speakers. 4-inch um, woofer and a tweeter in there. And then this is where I ran the cable back and runs through the baseboard with that little thingamajig. And these are just cheap Best Buy speakers, that, or speaker stands that work real well. Nice and simple, sturdy, they, perfect size I think. And then over here, we got the other 4B surround speaker. We got this little light that can go over the couch. Or it can swing over my little, what we call the sofa desk. It's actually a sofa table. And we use it as like a little workstation. So it's just my old Dell sitting there. You can kind of work on the computer and watch the TV. And then running everything, we got a Harmony. 700 remote control. I got it all programmed so you uh, you know you just hit one button for instance I don't know watch a movie or here this would switch to the Xbox 360 so it, it does everything automatically turns off the Blu-ray player the Xbox one switches everything over and that's that and then if you're not watching TV you can always just come over here you got the view out the front window some woods and mountains back there and you can see the city lights at night, but you can't today. So that's sort of my setup. I hope you enjoyed. I feel like some of my ideas, and let me know if you want any more information. I'd be glad to share. Bye. Thanks for watching.